Good evening, I'm Bakus, and this is one of our first PvP tutorials, basically. And we're gonna give you a demo with one of my core members. We're gonna show you how to engage battleships with a frigate, with basically uh, not too too shabby skills, but even a rookie of two weeks of training, uh, even a week can do this trick. And we're calling the spiraling technique. Uh, in with a frigate, it's a certain way how you move uh, towards a battleship. Now, how the way uh, battleships uh, fight? They fight with long range weapons. Long range weapons have a very, very bad tracking, but if you fly straight onto a battleship, you don't really move too much and they will shoot you out of the sky at around 80 to 60 clicks, probably, if you have come across the wrong one. As you can see, I have a, a very different l weapon layout. I have rail guns. Here are three rail guns. I got heavy assault missile. I got a torpedo launcher, and I got blasters, all battleship size. I got two webification uh, modules, a target painter, a warp disruptor, and all these things are usually um, on ships for PvP and to counter frigate attacks. Um, you use these kind of modules sometimes. In this demo we're gonna show you that if you do it correctly uh, you don't have to be afraid for a battleship like this because whatever he uses he, is ch he doesn't stand a chance to that frigate. You may not be killed by the frigate but he probably just keeps you in the spot until he, his friends will arrive and they will hurt you. Okay, as you people can see our attendee is arrived here, it's Medusa. He's in her frigate, her rifter, very, very, very familiar and revered amongst the players in EVE that these ships are pretty dangerous, but a lot of frigates can do this trick, so don't hold your, uh, yeah, hold your breath to uh, the rifter. Okay, well, he will go engage me. I will probably will uh, be able to engage him around 80 clicks and you will notice that it will take me very long to target him about 18 to 20 seconds because it's such a small target okay people now I'm going to start approach the cruise in the megatron so what I'm trying to do now is move. keeping my transversal and angle of velocity as high as possible so he can't hit me. That's what we call spiraling. Basically moving around in uh, a little bit of spiral, in a little spiral, and getting towards him. A good transversal would be above 500 ms. But the higher it is, the better. So if you approach a battleship like a Megatron or any other battleship, the best way to go is where uh, is his behind. And as you people can see, he's starting to fire at me and he misses. I'm approaching him at 25 clicks now, so when I get within the 10 clicks, I wait until I'm around 7 clicks and then I push the orbit button. And I have set it to orbit at 4 clicks. So you can see the behind of the Megatron now, so you want to try and get behind him, because that's the weakest point of the battleship. And I am within... 10 clicks now, he webifies me and I'll set to orbit. I 
And you people see he still misses me. Oh, little hit. Yeah, currently I'm engaging him with two web of fires. I have him warp, warp disrupted so he cannot warp off. He has to get out of range for it first, and I got a target painter which will make his uh, uh, size look bigger for our ship because of the signature strength of the ship's basically. And as you people can see, it's not working. I am going around 290 ms with a web of fire on me, a target painter to make me bigger. But uh, it it doesn't work. So even when I'm going this slow, my angular velocity, my transversal velocity is still high enough to uh, to run out his uh, his guns. Now I will engage some missiles. I will start with an heavy assault missile. These are basically battle cruiser, cruiser sized missiles and they are semi effective against frigates. So, as you people probably can see, is that he hits me with 13 damage with the heavy assault missiles. That is not much. But remember, if you got a Drake against you, that damage is like eight times because of it. that ship is designed for missiles. We all know that. The reason why he can't hit me is because I'm too small, and that means that my I have to say this right. My signature radius is too small for the missile. Yes, currently my size of weapons is about 400 meters, just like my ship. And that is not really effective against a signature radius of the Richter, which is usually somewhere beyond 50. I can take a look, it's 55. And I'm gonna show a battleship size weapon. Again, and that's a torpedo. These are basically anti-battleship, anti-battlecruiser uh, weapons and for bigger targets. Against frigates they're not really effective, but sometimes a lot of them can do a trick or two, but you'll see it doesn't do any damage at all. If I would get an attack by uh, a torpedo you would see my ship would get really really hit hard. Yeah, the monitor torpedoes are hitting me with, uh, let's take a look, 22, so that's not really that hard. So I'm still orbiting him, pretty slowly. Starting to eat his shields. So basically what you want to do is lock up all the drones, get your guns off 
the battleship and your light missile, what you use. And get them on those hobgoblins. As you can see, I ate him pretty fast. And he eats my shield. Stop it. Baku, stop it. Thank you. As you can see, drones are really hurting him, and you'll have to be uh, really careful to encounter the drones. As you can see, battleship size. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, stop that, please. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. almost structure. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, some lucky shots will do the hurting because his shield was the tank, and if he's breaking to his main shield, you'll see that even a frigate can get hurt by battleship sized weapons by then. Uh, I've lost, stopped all my engagements right now, so now you see he's speeding up again. And now that he has full speed, I'm gonna relaunch my missiles on him, and the damage on him will be uh, even less, because we have something called explosion velocity. And that is basically uh, neglected by the velocity of the ship itself. If you're fast enough, like some explosion velocities are like 100 uh, meters, uh, basically, uh, per second, uh, then you will have to go harder than that to neglect the damage of it. If you're too fast, the explosion is too slow for you to hit you. And I will still engage with blasters, railguns, everything I have. So as you probably can see, it said that the torpedoes and heavy missiles hit me behind me. They are not hitting me on, on my ship. Basically why he killed me that fast, because of the drones. And those hobgoblins are fast. So if you get webified and you got hobgoblins on, on your ass, you might get uh, the chance to run away or just fly away because you are fast enough. But we will cover that when we are uh, in another class. There are decent ways to get rid of drones. So even for that is a solution. And then, of course, we got smart bombs. Smart bombs are very effective against frigates if they are within the range. So, if you are in Nilsec, you want to get out of that range and that's orbiting the battleship at 9 clicks and you should be safe. That also means that you need to get your warp disruptor or scrambler to the right range. So you can still tackle him. So basically if you fire the Megatron or any other battleships, your biggest threat are the drones. you'll see if I really want to I can do quite some damage with the missiles but the time it will take me to take him down is easily more than two minutes and in two minutes his friends will arrive with a few battleships and battle cruisers and they will make short work of me So that is not really something you want to wait off. If you can get away 
from this situation, uh, you should certainly try to do that. Now, Web of Fire is basically a nice tool. You will see that he will go into warp much faster. So if they don't scramble anymore, because they lose the log, got too much distance, or they don't have the capacity any anymore for it, it can happen. If they web you, it's not a real problem, you'll go into warp more faster. It's basically a present for a battleship. Please web me when I'm halfway my speed, because then I will go in an insta warp. Exactly. And as you guys can see, the battleship ran away. Which is not really realistic, because the Rifter would make short work of it. And the time he had to play with me was really long enough. Well, this is basically the battleship demo. Here we hope to make people eager to go into PvP, even with a frigate. As you can see, even a frigate will be a viable uh, asset to a fleet. You think you need that battleship yourself? You know you don't because we battleship pilots we need you as well because if I want to get that battleship in time and I don't want it to get away I'm gonna rely to my small friends out there basically and they will tackle it they won't get hurt too hard and they can always leave the field as soon as uh, we will arrive to take down the battleship and have control over it. We basically tackled it ourselves by then, wrapped it and got target painters on it and starting to shoot it. That's the time where basically the interceptor rigged pilot, even in a tech one frigate, uh, could get out or join and keep on in the fight if he is too easy to attack. So we hope that you enjoyed it and you're going to enlist for PvP classes.